Hey everyone, this is Nikki AK Nickfish03. Uh, here today at Mirror Woods, Mount Tam, California. Um, two night trip, staying at Pantol, first night, and a uh, uh, steep ravine, second night. Um, nearing the end of today's hike, six miles, but a lot of elevation change. Um, I decided not to uh, set myself up for a really hard trek after only been um, doing swimming through the winter and I haven't really been out with much weight on my back. My pack is 43 pounds, um, so that's a good weight. I'm happy with that. Um, I've got my ski poles with me been using those. Um, let's just take a look. Current distance, here's the scenery. There's a little creek down there. These are the famous redwood trees. And uh, let's see right here. We have, this is my E-Trex Vista HCX. Tripodometer 3.06 miles, current elevation 1,000 feet. Um, I was at, a, I started at 500, went to 1,000, I think went back down to 700, now I'm back up to 1,000. Um, moving time 42 minutes, stopped 18 minutes, max speed 4.4 miles per hour. Um, so, it's looking like a, a good trick. Continuing on, I've got another one or two miles ahead of me. Um, about to exit Mirror Woods territory. I don't, it was nice, I mean, I didn't stop to enjoy the uh, scenery as much as I would hiking here, but uh, that's definitely, definitely a nice hike. So I'll get back to you when I'm at Pantol campsite. Hey, so uh, made it to Pantol. Um, got a got a good deal, two dollars a night for um, hikers and bikers that don't have a car. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. Um, last bit of the trek was pretty uh, pretty steep. Um, current elevation is uh, thirteen, almost fourteen hundred. Um, 4.9 miles and took me an hour and eight minutes with about 10 minutes of break time which was to 
um, tape up my back of my foot and um, just uh, grab some shot blocks and retie my shoe. So, set my hammock and eat it, eat something. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make myself some dinner. It's uh, almost five o'clock, but I don't know. Sounds about good right now. I'm not too hungry, but I think once I start cooking it, I will be. Um, I didn't really show you the surroundings, so we got a uh, parking lot right there and the ranger station, so it's not the too secluded, um, but, you know, road's going right by there, but, you know, <clears throat> two dollars a night, I'll take it, um, so we got the, uh, camping gas, this is my titanium pot, um, See if I can remember how to do this. <clears throat> um, start off by uh, actually taking the uh, valve out. So now put the windscreen on. It slides in. Now all these have to be down, so let's see. No, he's not. There we go. Now we're good. All right. I don't know if you can see that too well, but <clears throat> that's about it. <clears throat> so now fuel. Stick it on and screw it on. There we go. Good. All right. <clears throat> and um, go ahead and um, put the water in. Put the water in. Two cups. Okay, so now handles can come out, um, and we can light it. There we go. So I just uh, improvised a windscreen um, out of part of my space blanket. Um, so just duct tape and then I took a long strip and um, layered it. Um, it's actually doing quite well now. Um, yeah. I didn't bring any tinfoil. That probably wasn't the best idea. But I didn't think about it, so this will do. Just kidding. No, it won't. It'll do for the time being, but I thought this might happen, just because it's so thin, it's melting it. Um, it's not going to last long, but we're almost done, so. Got the uh, sweet and sour pork with rice. And it's going to be amazing, because I've had this before. <clears throat> One of my favorite dinner meals, Mountain House. Very good. I also have some um, Arizona green tea hot from a um, little pouch. It's also quite good. Sugar free, but it's quite sweet. I'll get back to you later then.